What we want to do is send everybody that came here wanting insects, we want to send insects back with them. We have a lot, uh, quite a few non-traditional landowners that live on the Teton, and they're buying smaller parcels of land. They're coming from areas they frequently don't know much about weeds, how to deal with it. You know, they may not even know that they're a threat. It, it should be an issue for everybody, really, you know, because like if my neighbors have weeds and I have, you know, and they're an agriculture operation, you know, their weeds are going to come onto my property. If it, if the private landowners don't work together and promote and help out in projects like this, um, there's really not enough that the Nature Conservancy or our other partners can do to make it happen. We are going to try and get these released just as soon as we can. Um, two, three days, I'd like to see them all back out of their little containers and out on some leafy spurge. Mmm-hmm, dinner time. Can't wait to sink my teeth into that leafy spurge. You're going to start to see this big uh, oval shape where the insects are starting to move out and move out and move out. And you've got a hole in the spurge where they've really um, done a number on that spurge. And boy, when you see one, you, you just go, wow, all the spurge is out of this little circular area. They, and that tells you that they're starting to work. So, What do we do when the spurge is all gone? Me and my bug friends move on to greener pastures. There's plenty of leafy spurge to go around. For now. But what's next for the Teton? How do we restore the plants we want? In the case of leafy spurge, generally what happens is that as long as a place hasn't been sprayed too much, the native stuff will move back in pretty easily. Um, in this case, we won't have to do anything. Uh, keep the knapweed out keep it from following in behind. That's probably the biggest risk, um, to have some other noxious weed follow in behind it. Once you get rid of one weed, like leafy spurge, another one, like spotted knapweed, can come in and take its place. Hello. Hello. Who are you? I'm knapweed root weevil. I like to eat spotted knapweed. Let me tell you how I'm helping some folks get rid of their spotted knapweed problem. If insect collecting sounds like fun to you, there's probably a bug gathering going on this summer in your area. And there are all kinds of other ways to help fight weeds in Montana. It's a great way to get outdoors and meet some new folks. Like me, the leafy spurge beetle. And me, the knapweed root weevil. Find out what you can do by talking to your county's weed coordinator. And visit www.weedawareness.org.